Hello everyone, thank you for joining me. I'm Kerry. Today I'll be showing you how to crochet a clown face. I won't be using the black for the top hat and eyes because it would be very difficult for you to see what I'm doing. But I will be putting a line of black slip stitch around the mouthpiece in a fine cotton just so that it shows up because this one doesn't show up very well. I'll be using 8 ply wool which is light worsted in the US and double knit in the UK. I've got cream for my main colour and white, red, yellow and blue for the other colours. I've got scissors, a 2.5mm crochet hook, a darning needle to weave in my ends. I'll be using three black beads, one to stitch on the flower and one each for the eyes. I've got my sewing thread and needle to stitch it together and I'll also be using a small amount of 4 ply crochet cotton and a 1.25mm hook to do a slip stitch around the mouthpiece. Now I'll start with the head part. So using my cream I'm going to make a magic loop. So I put my hook on my yarn, I bring the short end over the hook and then take the long end over the short end and make a circle and then I put my yarn around my hook and bring the hook through and that's a magic loop. And now I work two chain and then into my circle I work 15 double crochet. A double crochet is called a treble in the UK. For a double crochet I put my yarn around the hook I put my hook in through the circle from the front and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook, then hook and yarn through two loops, yarn around my hook and the hook with the yarn through the other two loops. So yarn around the hook, hook in through the circle, bring up a loop, yarn around the hook, take it through two loops, yarn around the hook and take it through the remaining two loops. So I need 15 double crochet. I've got two, so 13 more. Now that's my 15 double crochet. Now I'm going to pull the circle tight. So I take hold of the tail and ease it in. And now I'm going to slip stitch in the top of the first stitch. So this stitch here is the first stitch. So I put my hook into the stitch and bring through a loop and take it straight through the loop on my hook and that's a slip stitch. For row 2 I start with 2 chain, I work a double crochet into the same stitch as the chain and then I work 2 double crochet into each stitch around. So 
So just two double crochet into each stitch. So I'll continue around this row and I'll meet you near the end. I've worked my two double crochet into each stitch round. Now I slip stitch into the top of the first stitch. So this stitch here, just work a slip stitch. For row three, I start with two chain. I work one double crochet in the same stitch as the chain. One double crochet into the next stitch. And then two double crochet into the following stitch. Now I'm going to work one double crochet into each of the next two stitches and two double crochet into the following stitch around the rest of the row. So one double crochet into each of the next two stitches and then two double crochet into the following stitch. And I repeat that right around the row. So one double crochet into each of the next two stitches and two double crochet into the following stitch. So I'll continue around this row and I'll meet you at the end. At the end of the row we slip stitch in the first stitch just in there and fasten off. And that's the head part done. I'll just weave in this end to make it easier to do the hair and I'll be back. I'll start on the hair now. You could join your wool anywhere you'd like but I like to have the join at the top under the hat. So I join a couple of stitches down from halfway. So this stitch here. And I start with three chain and I work a join double crochet in the same stitch as a chain. For a join double crochet I put my yarn around my hook, my hook into the stitch and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook and take it through two loops, yarn around the hook, hook into the same stitch and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook through two loops, yarn around the hook and through the rest of the loops. And then I work three chain and join with a slip stitch in the same stitch as my joined double crochet. And that's the first curl. Now I miss one stitch and I slip stitch into the next stitch. And I repeat the same as the first curl. So three chain, a joined half double crochet in the same stitch as a chain, three chain and slip stitch into that same stitch and then miss the next stitch and slip stitch into the following stitch and work another curl of three chain, a join double crochet into the same stitch as a chain, three chain and slip stitch into the same stitch. Then miss the next stitch and slip stitch into the following stitch. I'm going to work four curls on each side. So I work another three chain, 
are joined double crochet in the same place as the chain. Three chain and slip stitch into that same stitch. Now I'm going to work one single crochet into each of the next nine stitches. For a single crochet, it's called a double crochet in the UK, I put my hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook and take my hook and yarn through the two loops. So hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook, hook with the yarn through the two loops. And I need seven more. Now I'm going to work my next curl into the following stitch. So slip stitch into the next stitch and work three chain, a join double crochet into the same stitch as a chain. Three chain and slip stitch into the same stitch. Miss the next stitch and slip stitch into the following stitch and repeat three chain, a join double crochet into the same stitch, three chain and slip stitch into the same stitch. Miss one stitch and slip stitch into the following stitch and work another curl. Then miss the next stitch slip stitch into the following stitch and work our final curl. And fasten off. And there's the head and hair done. For the eyes, I'm using my light blue. I make a magic loop and work one chain and four single crochet into the circle. I pull the circle tight and slip stitch into the first stitch. And fasten off. And I've got a small circle. I work the other eye the same, make a magic loop one chain and four single crochet into the circle pull the circle tight and slip stitch into the first stitch
and fasten off. For the nose, using my red, I make a magic loop and work one chain and work eight single crochet into my circle. I pull the circle tight and slip stitch into the first stitch. And pass them off. Now for the mouth part Using my white, I work six chain I work three double crochet into the third chain from the hook Two double crochet into each of the next two chain and three double crochet into the last chain then I work two chain and slip stitch into the same stitches the last three double crochet and fasten off. And that's the mouth done, it will just bend around like that. Now for the top hat I'll be working it in red. I start with seven chain I miss the first three chain and work one double crochet into each stitch to the end. So I'll have four double crochet. Now those two and three will work the same. We start with three chain and turn and work one double crochet into each stitch to the end. And another row the same. 3 chain and turn and 1 double crochet into each stitch to the end. For row 4 we start with 3 chain and turn. We work 
2 double crochet into the first stitch and then we work one half double crochet into that same stitch. For a half double crochet it's called a half treble in the UK. We put our yarn around the hook, hook into that same stitch and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook and take our hook and yarn through all the loops. Now we work one half double crochet into each of the next two stitches. So yarn around the hook, hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook and through all the loops. Another half double crochet into the next stitch. Into our last stitch we work one half double crochet and three double crochet. And now we're going to work a neatening row. Just up the sides and along the top and we'll stop once we get back to the brim. So we start with one chain and work a single crochet into each stitch. I like to work two single crochet into these corner stitches and I slip stitch just into that stitch there at the bottom of the brim just to take it in a little bit more but you could single crochet if you'd prefer. I just work a slip stitch into that stitch there and then a single crochet into each of the next few stitches. Slip stitch into the next stitch and fasten off. And there's the top hat. Now for the flower, I'm using my light blue. I make a magic loop and work one chain. For each petal I work one single crochet and one double crochet. Now I'd like five petals so I repeat that four more times. One single crochet and a double crochet.
Now I've got my five petals, so I pull my circle tight and slip stitch in the top of the first stitch. And fasten off. And there's a flower. Now for this band, you could just work enough chain to go across, but I'll attach mine to the hat. So I join just, just at the brim there on the wrong side. And I work enough chain to go across the hat. I work seven chain then and that's that's fine and then I slip stitch into the other side of the hat and fasten off now I'll just weave in my ends and I'll be back and we'll put it together now here's all my pieces. The first things I'll do is attach the nose to the head. The nose goes over this centre circle towards the bottom, in like that. I'll attach the flower to the top hat with a black bead, just like that. And I'll attach a black bead to each of the centre of each of the eye pieces. Now, for the mouth, I'll do a line of slip stitch around it in four ply black cotton. If I had a different colour, this one here wouldn't need the slip stitches in black. You could just embroider around. You'd only need it if there isn't enough contrast. You can't really see the mouth. So I just join my black cotton. I've got a 1.25 millimetre hook for this and I'll just work a slip stitch into each stitch around just the outside part of the stitch. Just work around like that if you're going to, but most of the time it wouldn't be necessary. And once I get back round to the beginning, I'll slip stitch into the first stitch. So I'll stitch these on and finish this and I'll be back. Next I'll embroider on a mouth. And I'll attach the eyes to the head, just about there. The next things I do is attach the mouth and the hat. I prefer the hat to be a little bit crooked if possible. So I'll attach them and I'll be back. The last thing I'll do is embroider on the eyebrows and then I'll be back to show you the finished clown. And there's a finished clown. If you like my video, please like, subscribe and share. I'm also on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest and Twitter. The details are in the description below, along with the details of my website, where I have my patterns, and the details of my Facebook group. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.